Welcome everyone. So today we're going to talk about the process for an application for a college or a university for an F1 student. Okay, so this is the process that you kind of go through if you think you want to come to the US as an F1, you know, as an F1 student. F1 visa is a visa that you're given as an F1 student to come and study in the US. Okay, but before you do that, there are some processes that you need to go through before you get to the point of going into the you know going to the u.s embassy and applying uh for you to get yourself a visa so you need to get admitted uh so this is the process that we're we're going to talk about today Right. So before you actually get to the point of even applying for the school, there's a few steps that you need to take, you know, so that you can be able to establish. So this is a school. This is a program. Uh, you know, this is where it's located. This is where I want to go. OK, so these are the steps you kind of need to take. The first step you need to take is you need to identify the course of study that you want to take. All right. So you need to know what course am I, you know, what, what do I want to do? What do I want to pursue? Very important. Before you even begin anything, you need to know what is it that I'm looking for? What is it that I'm wanting to pursue? Okay. So either, you know, either, either you, you know, either you have, uh, either you have, uh, you have an undergraduate degree or maybe you're going for your undergraduate degree, you know, so you, you, this is, you need to spend some time whether by praying or analyzing or whatever you need to do, talking to people, you need to, you need to establish, you know, what is my best, you know, use Google, Google, make Google your friend. You know, if, if you want to go into a field that is, you know, that is well paid, there's more jobs and all that stuff. You need to identify the course of study that you want to pursue. Okay. So after you've done that, then the next step is actually identifying the college or the university that you want to apply to. So this, <laughs> this is another big task. It's a big task because there are so many colleges and universities in the U.S. So there's over 4,000 institutions of higher education in the U.S. Okay. And then uh, about, about 2,000 of those, they are, you know, they're like uh, four year, four year, four year colleges. And then the rest is like two year colleges. And so you have a big task. To be able to zone in on the college that you want to study okay so here again you go research research that pour some time into establishing you know zeroing in on uh the college that you want to you want to go to make google your friend but also ask around ask people you know reach out to people ask people in those fields you know and network with people to, to you know to to find out whether that degree that you want to pursue you know is it is it marketable am i am i, am I going to be able to get jobs after that is it well paying or something like or also too you need to internalize and say is this something that is going to be good for you know my life to pursue this career is it going to be rewarding is it going to be you know my passion that is this is my passion that i want to go into okay so zeroing in on a college or university is really really key and it it might take some time but please make sure you do you make google your friend you know look look through some of the you know the best colleges in your area of study you know research that see what you know see what colleges uh those are but this also goes this goes in line with after you've established the colleges that you want to go to, the other thing that you need to do is you need to identify the specific department in that college or university that you want to study. OK, so because sometimes you go and, uh, you know, there's there's so many departments in, in, in a particular school or university. And uh, and so if you zone in and say, this is the college I want to go to, let's say I want to go to, you know, the University of Alabama. I want to go to, you know, uh, LSU. I want to go to Stanford. I want to go to Harvard. I want to go to North Dakota State University. I want to go to, you know, I want to go to University of uh, New Mexico. Whatever school that you decide to go to, you need to go into their website and look at the different departments to be able to you know, zone in on, okay, so my program is in this particular department, okay? So there is, you know, like I did, I did a master's of accountancy, 
at the university at the North Dakota State University. I don't know why I keep I keep wanting to say the other university, which is the University of North Dakota. But I went to the North Dakota State University and I did a master's of accountancy. Okay. So the master's of so I have I had so if you go to North Dakota State University and you look uh, you look for a master's of accountancy, you know, you'll find the department that it's in. So once you've done that and you've been able to, you know, locate the department, what you can also do I as you keep as you keep moving is you can research on scholarships if there are any scholarships for that particular department. Okay. Sometimes they're listed on their website. Sometimes you'll see, and especially for, you know, graduate students, people who are going to do masters or PhDs. And so, you know, sometimes you'll find scholarships listed on the website. Sometimes scholarships are, you know, no, not on the internet, but they're on the intranet. Intranet, that means if you're not enrolled in that particular institution, then you won't be able to see the scholarships, you know, unless you actually go and get enrolled into the school then you'll find the scholarships once you uh, get into the into the school but sometimes they have scholarships listed you know on the website and that you know that is that uh, that will help you because scholarships are good especially if you you know uh, if you're not very well financially it's always good to see and find ways that you can get scholarships otherwise your life in the US is going to be a little bit challenging okay so once you establish the department and you and you, and you go into that particular department and you check whether there's any scholarships you know these these there's, there's a lot of scholarships either especially for graduate students so there's graduate teaching uh scholarships or there's graduate research uh assistantships okay so graduate teaching or graduate research uh, research assistantships that are available and once you get those you can be able to apply and then the other thing is the next step after that is you need to actually apply for the college okay a lot of colleges you can you can just do an online application just once you've once you've zeroed in this is this is my course of study this is the college that i want to go to you know this is the department that i'm studying uh maybe you find a scholarship or you don't find a scholarship uh and then after that you know you get to apply okay so Here's one thing that you can do, because once you go to the particular department that your school is in, they usually give you the email and phone number for the particular department head, okay, for that particular program that you're going to study. The best way to know, you know, if there's any funding or scholarships available sometimes is as you apply to the school, you can reach out to the professor, you can reach out to, you know, the department head and inquire whether there are any scholarships that are available. Okay. So that, that's one of the ways that you can get to find out whether there's scholarships. And I, I w what I would tell you is, you know, sometimes you can, you know, when you, when, when you send that particular email, make sure that you spend time on the email that you write the particular, you know, department head or professor. OK, make sure it's, you know, you write a good essay email, a good marketable email that is, you know, know, know the particular department head. You know, you can go see what, 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 what research they've published. You can go see what their interests are and then connect with them, connect with them, connect with them. You know, give them your story, whether, you know, you're coming from uh, you, you're growing up in hardship or whether you have a really particular zoned in keen interest that you want to pursue that you think will be so beneficial that you think really meshes well with the program that you're going to take, you know, prove like state your case in your email, state your case in the correspondent, uh, correspondence with a, with the department head or professor, make your case known. So, you know, it's like I have this particular interest and I feel like your school, your department gives me the best opportunity for me to be able to unmask, to be able to get to the bottom of what I'm trying to do. OK, so make sure you spend good time writing a good email. So moving on to when you are actually applying for the school. OK, so most schools will usually require a cover letter, you know, resumes, uh, They'll, your transcripts and this is this is one thing you need to know is you need to translate your transcripts from 
you know because the u.s uses the u.s has their own schooling system that is not used anywhere in the world and so you know whatever you are from you need to translate your you know you need to translate your uh, your uh, transcripts and then you know some school require gmat or a gre or you know or, or some sort of test but also to you know, you'll need some sort of affidavit of support, you know, to show that you're going to be able to afford to go to school. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to I'm going to take you through an actual application. Uh, and, and what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to use the application from uh, from the University of Memphis. OK, so the University of Memphis, Memphis is in Tennessee, and this is a graduate application guideline. OK, so one of the things that they say for you to be admitted at the University of Memphis for the graduate uh, program, graduate admission, a you need a curriculum vitae, you need a CV, you know, that's your resume that shows, you know, any honors, awards, publication, relevant uh, educational research activities. You need a personal statement. OK, so your personal statement should address the reason you're applying to the graduate program. OK, so it, it has the relevant, you know, so your, your statement should have the relevant personal experience. Why are you applying any previous research experience, current research interests? You know how you uh, how your research will kind of fit into the into the program, but also, you know, any career goals that you have. So that's a personal statement for you kind of stating your case. Why, you know, why are you applying and why, you know, why are you applying to this to to the University of Memphis? You need your official transcripts from all colleges that you have attended. And, you know, for international students, you need to make sure that this are translated. You need a le you need letters of recommendation. So it says here that you provide email addresses and telephone numbers for three recommenders. OK, uh, and then. For international students, uh, which is what we are, like the University of Memphis requires you to do a TOEFL and uh, it requires you for your transcripts to be evaluated. And uh, let me see, it doesn't require GRE. Uh, yeah, it requires an affidavit of support and financial statement. And also it says health insurance that all international students ad admitted to graduate school must purchase health insurance before they are allowed to enroll that you know and that's so that's that's all the application uh, and i went through the university of memphis and i read you through you know what are the requirements for you to you know for uh for you to apply so after you know you you go through all that process and you provide everything you submit your application online then you know if the school accepts you when they do they they'll send you an i-20 an i-20 is what you then use to be able to schedule your F1 visa interview. Okay. So that's just the gist, the process of applying for a school in the U S and I've kind of given you, you know, pretty much all the things that you need throughout the process. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to in the, in the link, in the link, uh, in the description, in the description, I'm going to provide you, you know, some 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 websites on, you know, if you if you're wanting to if if the school that you're applying for requires a TOEFL uh, or a GRE test, you know, I'll send you some links. There's there'll be some some links in the description that you can go. Some of them are, you know, self study. You can study them yourself. Uh, you can you can test yourself before you before you do the test. And these are free ones. Okay, so I'm providing you with with the with the resources that you need. Uh, and it'll be in the description. So make sure you check out the description. All right. So that is I've really taken you through the process of sending in your application. And then, you know, I've done videos on once, you know, on when you go to the for the interview. I've done videos on, you know, the pretty much the process, what you need to do when you go to the U.S. Embassy. This is really great information. But also not only that. So after doing this, the next thing in line is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do some videos on scholarships. And one of the videos I'm going to do, the first one I'll do is I'll do a video on my scholarship. So I came to the U.S. with a full scholarship and it's a really great program. And I'm going to tell you more about it. And hopefully it's, you know, hopefully one of you, you know, hopefully one of you guys will be lucky. It's a really great program that I went into and it's, it's a very unique one very unique one great program so watch out for that if you haven't subscribed my friend
please go ahead and subscribe hit that you know hit that bell the information that i'm giving you and i'm giving you for free is really really it's and what i do before i before i give you any information i make sure i research and so i'm not just giving you information just to give you information i'm not just taking copying and pasting i do research before i give you the information so hopefully this is really important you know this is really helpful to you uh please let me know in the comment section you know don't forget those likes don't forget you know leave me some comments ask me any questions as we go along and uh, you know, I'm looking to empower, I'm looking to educate, I'm looking to challenge, you know, I'm just giving information.